Hey folks, what's going on? Just gonna do a quick product review. Uh, I've had these before. Today's day and age, if you got some nice wheels on your car, chances are uh, they're probably gonna get stolen if you don't have uh, any protection. And even wheel locks isn't enough these days. They can uh, hammer a nut on there and get those things off so easily. Hammer a socket on there and uh, get those wheel locks off so easy. Came across these um, on a Chevy form. I just got a new Chevy truck and traded my other one in. And on my last truck, I had these and I thought they were a great invention. At least protects you, or hopefully protects you, from the socket being hammered over the lock and then being uh, unscrewed off. This one, uh, as you can see, the, the top of this, the top of this nut spins so you got to have that key that goes down into these teeth if the top doesn't line up with the teeth on the bottom the you can't get the lock on there so for those guys using the sockets to uh, hammer over the top they'll be hammering over this part but when they go to turn it all they'll do is be spinning it won't be actually spinning the nut here so uh, just an extra line of defense I got this stock wheel locks that GM gives you but I don't think uh, they're worth the flip so anyways I was gonna get these out do a uh, not really an unboxing but I want to talk about that if you have a GM truck or Chevy most likely chance is it's 14 by 1.5 and uh, I got a Silverado crew cab 2018 and I believe these are the exact same ones that I used for my 2015 I'm sure they're the same for most of the GM trucks. This is the best uh, wheel lock solution I've seen yet that actually uh, gives you a little bit of protection. Like I said before, obviously, none of it's 100% proof. These guys, if you give them enough time, they'll figure out how to, how to get those wheels off your car. So uh, I'll leave the standard GM locks that they put on and I'll put these on as well, just for added security. I'll, uh, Go out to my truck and get these things on and I'll show you how it works. All right, here we go. Uh, I just cut this box open so you can see the contents inside. Just open it up. Here's kind of what the front says. That's about it. I bought these on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Here's the uh, key for the lock. Here's the actual screw. You screw that part on. And then the top spins. So unless you got that key that lines these holes up, that's the only way you can grab that nut to unscrew it. But <clears throat> if you're like some of these robbers <clears throat> or burglars or whatever you call them, thieves, disgusting human beings that do that, these, uh, they come out They'll get a sledgehammer or whatever and they'll hammer these things over and get them to uh, unloose. But you can see, if they hammer this, they're not going to unscrew that nut. you got to have the key for this thing. So uh, if they had a deep socket, they maybe could hammer it all the way over. But I, I don't think they'd get enough leverage because this outside would be spinning. So I think it's better than anything out there on the market right now. But so you got to, uh, let's see if we can... Spin this to get it there it goes and then you can't get it on there you got to keep spinning until it works with the uh, base of it there it goes so then you can get it off and when you pull these things off you spin that thing and locks the key I'll get them on my truck and uh, show you how they look they're nice I don't have any wheel caps so I'm anxious to see how these look um, sticking out like they will so Anyway, all right, came out here. As you can see, I got the custom GM wheels. I kind of paid a premium, but uh, they're the 22 inch wheels. I liked them. As you can see, you got the factory lock. Uh, like I said before, they can just use these nuts, hammer them right over the top, and then spin them right off. There you can see the Gorilla Locks X2. They do the same thing, but uh, just the top of that, 
just the top of that lock will be spinning so I can spin it with my fingers but it's locked down on the wheel so it's the uh, only way I can get it off I think is with one of these keys uh, I might have a hard time hammering a socket on that so I don't know not sure if I'm gonna leave both of these on there uh, just to make extra deterrent or maybe take that off just uh, maybe looks a little weird but uh, that's it like I said this is my uh, new 2018 I really like it I like Chevy's they've always treated me good so open this up you can either Another thing guys, don't hide your wheel locks in here. These thieves, if they uh, do break into your car, this is the first place they look uh, when they're trying to steal some wheels is pop, pop your window and look in this glove box. So hide that wheel lock, tape it underneath the seat or put it in one of these glove boxes or uh, just hide it, put it somewhere where you can still get to if you need to get the wheels off. But uh, yeah, don't make it easy for them. That's the whole name of this game is trying to make their job harder So maybe they won't even come to your truck in the first spot. So and I might make another video. These are those cat skin leather seats I got them to add those to it aftermarket. So if those of you who are interested in that really nice looking seats man that uh, Stuff like these wrinkles will go out over time with the heat outside it'll slowly smooth out that leather these are brand new so they're a couple of small wrinkles but that white stitching is just freaking awesome that's a cat skin the dealer installed those they can uh, they can do those for you if you find a truck with cloth seats you can add those so anyways hope y'all like that uh I had them on my last truck the design was actually really cool I was really impressed so, you gotta protect these babies. You pay a price for these kind of wheels and you wanna protect your property, that's a good start. I'll uh, put the description, the uh, link to the description below. Thanks for watching.